Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting a lesson on writing a linear equation in general form. The directions are write the equation of the line passing through the points named in general form. To start, let's review what general form actually is. So I'll write this at the top right where there's a little bit of free space. General form looks like this, ax plus by plus c equals zero. There are some stipulations though. A, B, and C have to be integers. That means no fractions, no decimals, and A has to be non-negative. So the very first coefficient cannot be negative. So here are two examples that I'd like to work through to help you to understand this a little bit better. Let's start with example one. They tell us that there is a line that passes through the points 5, 2, and 1, 12. Let's start by finding the slope. The slope is the change in y over the change in x. So I'm going to say m equals 12 minus 2 over 1 minus 5. This simplifies to 10 over negative 4, which simplifies to negative 5 halves. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write this equation in point slope form using the first point, using the point 5, 2. So I'm going to say y minus 2 equals negative 5 halves x minus 5. I'm now going to distribute the negative 5 halves through the parentheses. So in essence, I'm going to multiply it by the x, and then I'm going to multiply it by the negative 5. Now you may be wondering what happened to this minus 2 here, and I haven't dealt with that yet. I want to move this minus 2 to the other side, which means I have to add 2. But instead of thinking about it as adding 2, I'm going to think about it as adding 4 halves. The reason I do that is because it plays most nicely with the 25 halves that's already there. It's going to be much easier for me to combine those fractions. So now I'm going to do that and say that I have y equals negative 5 halves x plus 29 halves. Okay, and for my next step, I'm going to multiply through by 2 to clear the fractions, giving me 2y equals negative 5x plus 29. So we're getting really close to this general form. We just have to have it fit the template up here, which essentially means get everything to one side and zero on the other side. I'm almost there. So my final step will be to move the negative 5x over and the positive 29 over for a final answer of 5x plus 2y minus 29 equals zero. Okay, so there's your general form for example number one. What I would recommend you do now is pause the video and try number two before I go do it for you. So pause the video for a moment, try the problem, and then resume when you're done. Okay, I hope you had an opportunity to try the problem for yourself, and now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start by finding the slope. The slope is the change in y over the change in x, so I'm gonna say negative five minus one over negative 14 plus six. This simplifies to negative 6 over negative 8. Because the quotient of two negatives is a positive and we can reduce, the final slope is 3 fourths. The next thing that I'm going to do is write the equation of the line in point slope form. Now I could pick either point that I want. I'm going to use negative 6 and 1 because the values are smaller and perhaps easier to work with. So I'm going to say y minus 1 equals 3 fourths x plus 6. I'm now going to distribute the 3 fourths through the parentheses. So that's going to be multiplied by x, and the 3 fourths is going to be multiplied by 6. I'm going to deal with the minus 1 at the end, so don't get nervous. y equals 3 fourths x plus 18 fourths. To get rid of this minus 1, I have to add 1 to both sides. But instead of thinking of it as adding 1, I'm going to add 4 fourths. When I combine my like terms, I end up with y equals 3 fourths x plus 22 fourths. Now, I could reduce the 22 fourths, but I have to multiply through by the LCD right now to clear the fractions, so it's just going to be easier to leave it like that. I'm now going to multiply through by 4, which leaves me with 4y is equal to 3x plus 22. I'm really close to having general form. I just now need to move everything to one side. 
So I'm going to move the, the 4y over to the right hand side so that all of my terms will be on one side and 0 will be on the other. This will leave me with a final answer of 3x minus 4y plus 22 equals 0. Okay, so here are two examples of working with a problem that requires you to finish in general form. General form, in summary, is ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers, that means no fractions or decimals, and a cannot be negative.